Hello everyone, this is Luxury PL38. Today's video I would like to compare and also do a what fits or which of these items, the SLG from Louis Vuitton, that can fit into um, the wallet on chain or one of the smaller items from Chanel. So I'm going to do a comparison and also a recommendations because there are quite a lot of SLG from Louis Vuitton released over the years and it just caused a little bit of um, confusion what is what. So I'm just going to try to explain and do a comparison and also um, a little bit of recommendations after that. These are considered compact wallet. So we do have the Zoe wallet over here and the Victorian wallet over here. And these are considered coin purses. So we do have the Rosalie coin purse, which surprisingly it does look like a compact wallet. But Louis Vuitton classify this as a coin purse. And obviously we do have a Zippy coin purse, which also surprisingly look as a wallet. So those four items that looks very similar in terms of the shapes and a little bit of the sizes, they are considered into two separate categories. If you go into Louis Vuitton website, those two are considered coined and those two are considered compact wallet. So I'm going to do a comparison about the sizes. If you look into the Zoe wallet, just before I go into that, the Zoe wallet Victorian wallet and the Zippy wallet, they all comes in a ladder alternative. So if you're after the ladder alternative from Louis Vuitton, you can always pay an extra $100 to $200 and upgrade to a wallet with ladder. And obviously the cheaper one are the canvas. And this Zoe wallet is in, as you can see, it is in the monogram ladder and this is the emperor ladder that i purchased the only one that does not come with a ladder alternative is the rosalie the rosalie only comes with canvas so you cannot find a rosalie coin purse in ladder so that's the only differences between those four items so let's do it in terms of what it looks like individually. The Zoe wallet is pretty much like a very compact wallet. In fact, out of all this, this is the smallest. Can you imagine? This is actually the smallest in terms of dimension wise. And if you actually open it up, it does look like a proper wallet with a bill compartment on the top here. And it has four cut slots. It even has a zipper that you can put your coin here or change. And it makes it into a complete wallet. And there is a back pocket as well. It is a very compact and a very complete wallet. I believe the canvas one starts from 690 if I'm not mistaken, for the um, Zoe wallet. But the price of the Victorian and the price of the um, Zoe wallet they're not much of a difference. I think they are less than $100 in terms of the difference wise. So in terms of price wise, if you're looking at the same canvas, there will be a little bit of difference. Obviously the Victorian wallet, because it is bigger, it costs a little bit more, but price range wise, it should not be too much of a, it should start between 690 to 700 onwards for the canvas. So the Victorian wallet is similar to the Zoe wallet, but it is on a bigger dimension. Much bigger dimension, actually. It also comes with a bill compartment and it has six card slot with two pockets on here. And it also comes with a compartment for your coins or your change. The Victorian wallet, however, does not have a back pocket. So that is the difference between those two. And it is much bigger than the Zoe wallet. So that is the Victorian wallet and that is the Zoe wallet. The Rosalie, this is considered a coin purse. So the Rosalie, although it looks similar to the Zoe wallet in terms of dimensions, 
it is still slightly bigger than a Zoe wallet. However, because it does not open up into three sections. So the thing about Louis Vuitton, they classify a wallet if it opens up into three different sections. And that is how you classify as a wallet. So anything that doesn't do that will be classified as either a coin or a card holder. So the Rosalie is considered a coin purse because it doesn't open up into three different sections. So it's basically just one compartment over here and there is a pocket here, the zip pocket that you can put your change. However, there are two card holder slots here, one over here. And don't forget, there is another one over here. A lot of people actually forgot that the Rosalie coin purse has another card slot here. So there are two card slots and there is a back pocket. And there is no back pocket. The only one that has a back pocket is the Zoe wallet. So can you imagine the smallest one of all this actually is more functional because it does have a back pocket. And the Rosalie coin purse, it is the cheaper one of all these four. It starts from 490 Canadian dollars. And I see that price going to go up fairly soon because it is the cheapest and it is functional in terms of very compact. You can definitely put a lot of cards in there and you can put your change as well. And it is just slightly bigger than the Zoe wallet. It is also smaller than a Victorian wallet. Victorian wallet is actually a proper wallet, a tri-fall tri wallet that are quite large. So the Rosalie is even cheaper than any of these two, simply because it is categorized as a coin purse. So if you are looking into something that is a proper category of a wallet, the price will zoom all the way up to more than $500, like $690 onwards for Zoe wallet. And I think the um, Victorian wallet is over $700 Canadian dollars. So anything that Louis Vuitton classify as a wallet, the price zoom up a lot. You can see the comparison. I think that's about $200 over Canadian dollars between this and this. So if you're looking for something that is cheaper and reasonable alternative, go for anything that says coin purse or click into the coin wallet category, sorry, the coin sections. And you can just type in coin into the search category and it, got, it does show this Rosalie coin purse and also the Zippy coin. So those two are considered coin purses because of that category it is cheaper than the Victorian wallet or the anything that says wallet in terms of category wise. So that is a good trick for someone that is trying to save money in terms of purchasing the first Louis Vuitton small ladder goods. And in terms of the coin purse, the Rosalie coin purse, it does function very much similar to a wallet. It's just that there is no threefold which classify it as a wallet. It is basically one compartment. The funny thing about a coin zippy coin purse is it is zippy. However, there is no zip compartment on the inside. So it does look like a card holder. And even if you put your change or your coins in here, you have to be careful because when you zip it up, it has to be sideways. You can't zip it up like that because when you open it up, all the coins will fall out. So it is strange in a little bit that it is considered a coin purse, but because it is considered a coin purse, the price point is actually a little bit cheaper than those considered as a wallet. In terms of price wise, it is a little bit cheaper than a wallet, but size wise, it is pretty much very, very similar to a Victorian wallet. The only difference obviously is it does not have a bill compartment as opposed to a proper wallet that has a bill compartment. 
you can always fold your bill because if you don't actually bring a lot of bills you can fold your bills and put it here or you can put it here but there are cut slots in here there are two and there's two over here and there are two back pocket and a middle pocket so this is actually quite a good alternative for someone that has a lot of cuts and they do require um, a small compact small leather goods to put their cuts you can always use this to put all your cuts like your loyalty cards your frequent flyer cards and everything because this rosalie coin purse although it is very compact it can only hold i believe less than 10 cuts and you might be able to squeeze in 10 but it's just going to be very bulky so those are the four alternative for small leather goods in terms of louis vuitton collections there is one which i believe has been discontinued it is called a mini compact wallet that is very similar to a zoe wallet but that was actually on trial basis if i'm not mistaken louis vuitton released that only on one particular collections and i believe it was discontinued they call it a mini compact wallet that was only out in canvas and i believe it was only available in one season which is um, it sold out immediately but it was very very small and it compares to a zoe wallet basically it looks the same the only difference is the cuts are actually i believe it is um, there are no zip pockets and i believe there's only two or three card slots so that is the only difference but i believe that has been discontinued so the next sections i'm gonna show you which of these fits into your small leather um, bags such as the vanity bag the felici or the wallet on chain so i'm gonna start with a felici from louis vuitton and this is the Zoe wallet and it is the only one that you can actually put it vertically. See that? And close it. So this is the only one that you can put it vertically and that gives a lot of space on these sections of your Felici. A lot of people actually use it that way but bear in mind if you actually use any of these four in here if you have a large phone, you are not able to put your phone inside of Felicity because it basically took up all the space. Unless you do have a flip coin, uh, sorry, a flip phone such as the Samsung flip phone and you might be able to put it here. I'm just going to show you. See, it does take a lot of space, those bigger wallet or bigger purses. And this is the Victorian one. It does take a lot of space and you definitely cannot put it vertically. It goes with the Rosalie coin purse. Although it is very compact, you cannot put it vertically. I'm just going to show you the zippy one as well. So this is the only one that you can put it vertically. Again, this is a Zoe wallet. Even the card holder, you're not able to put it like that. It bulges out. The good things about card holder is if you put it inside, you do have space for your phone, for your large phones at the back. So that is the advantage of using a card holder. So let's move on to the wallet on chain from Chanel. Again, in terms of Zoe wallet, it is the only one that you can put it vertically. See that? You can put it vertically and close it. So it does give a little bit of space here on the right hand side and you can put in much more items. So bear in mind, Zoe wallet is the only one that you can do that. Again, if you use a larger one, it is difficult for you to actually put anything else. So it is pointless, but uh, bear in mind the uh, wallet on chain from Chanel, it is smaller and you can't fit in as much items as the Felici from Louis Vuitton. So let's have a look at the Rosalie coin purse, which is a compact one. It does take up quite a lot of space and you cannot put it vertically. So the only one that you can do it vertically is that one. 
and just out of curiosity it is smaller than the felicity as you can see so the wallet on chain is smaller than the felicity one of the most popular small bags well it is considered an slg in terms of chanel's category is the vanity case and chanel has been releasing a lot of vanity bags at the moment including the one with the top handles but their dimensions and the size this is the rectangle one is actually quite big you can put in a lot of items however because of the height it is actually shorter than a felici and is it is also shorter than a wallet on chain in terms of the height so because of that reason many things you can't put it vertically however in terms of zoe wallet although you can put vertically on all those wallet on chain and felicity you cannot put it vertically on the vanity one because it is shorter in terms of the height and that is one of the disadvantage of this particular chanel vanity bag all of this slg has to be put in horizontally you can put in quite a lot actually see that you can put in two and that leave a lot of space Even the larger one, the CP coin, you can put in there. And you have plenty of space here. So the Chanel vanity bag, the rectangular size, is actually one of the largest small leather goods that you can find on the market at the moment. You can put in a lot of items. Just bear in mind that even the Zoe wallet, you cannot put it in vertically. You need to put it in horizontally. But it doesn't matter because there are a lot of space here but that is a disadvantage because it does look very boxy and some people do not like the fact that it has it is too thick too boxy feel to it just before i let you guys go i'm going to quickly show you the mini pochette the rosalie sorry the zoe wallet you can put it in comfortably and there are lots of space for you to put in other items. This is the Rosalie coin purse. You can also put it in quite comfortably with a lot of items in there. So those two you are able to put in into the mini pochette. And there are a little bit of space that you can put in other items. Obviously, the best one is this Zoe one that you can actually put it in. And there are plenty of space for you to put in other items. The rest doesn't make sense because it just basically takes up all the spaces in a mini pochette. So it just doesn't make sense to use these two and put it inside a mini pochette. So the fact that I have these two Japan editions of the mini pochette and a victorian wallet i might consider letting go of the victorian wallet simply because i don't see the point of me having those two and i have not even used the victorian wallet so if anyone's interested i might list that on my instagram account my instagram account information is down below so once again thank you so much for watching if you do have any questions or suggestions for any video please let me know